In Shadowrun 5th Edition, sensors are mass-produced, miniaturized, and integrated everywhere. So whether it's avoiding an automated turret's sensor lock, or to stop your bottle of fizzy goo from reporting back to Aztechnology's marketing division, you'll want to know the rules for sensors. Sensors come in only two options. A single sensor, which contains only a single function, or a sensor array, which contains up to eight functions. These can be installed into any device that has capacity, with a single sensor taking one capacity and an array using six. All sensors have a minimum rating of two and can go as high as eight. This rating will act as a limit when a test is made through a sensor. The maximum rating for a sensor is limited by the sensor's housing. For example, an RFID chip is small and limits the max sensor rating to two. Handheld devices or small drones are limited to a max sensor rating of three. Cars typically have a max sensor rating of seven, while a large sensor housing, such as a metal detector in an airport, could hold up to a maximum sensor rating of eight. See the sensor housing chart located on page 446 of the Shadowrun Core rulebook. When buying a single sensor, you'll want to pick what function it has. With a sensor array, you can choose up to eight functions. A list of functions can be found on page 446 of the core rulebook. Now that we have our sensors picked out, let's look at some examples of how they are used. Characters can use sensors to help with Overwatch and Recon by making a perception test limited by your sensor's rating. If you have the Electronic Warfare skill, that may be used in place of the perception skill. Drones or automated turrets will complete sensor targeting by performing a test of pilot plus clear sight limited by the sensor's rating. Vehicles making this test are looking for emissions, sound, and composition of other vehicles, so they may have modifiers based on their target. See the signature table on page 184 of the core rulebook. If the target is attempting to sneak, the test will be opposed by the target's stealth pool. Characters with the gunnery skill can use passive or active sensor targeting to help with their attacks. Passive targeting substitutes the accuracy of the weapon with the vehicle's sensor attribute. The attacker then rolls gunnery plus logic, limited by the sensor, to lock onto a target. Signature modifiers are applied to this roll. For the active targeting, the character or vehicle makes a sensor test to lock onto a target with a simple action. If the character or vehicle wins the test, the net hits are applied as a negative modifier to the defense test of the target. This active targeting will continue to apply until the target breaks sensor contact or evades detection. Finally, sensors and scanners are commonly found in security plans. Game masters using sensors for security will typically roll the sensor's rating or the device rating to detect and defend against the Shadowrunner's actions. For example, a magnetic anomaly detector in an airport could have a sensor rating of up to 8 to see if any metallic objects are detected. A single hit detects ferrous metal weapons or objects. Game masters can find more details on sensors and scanners on page 360 of the Core Rulebook. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you'd like me to do a video on next, and if you liked this video, please consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash complex action. Our patrons help to support the videos we make here and in return get access to thank you rewards. Everything here is made possible by the generous support of our patrons. And thanks again for watching.